the previous video we set up autopilot and we successfully enrolled the machine so it shows up in Azure AD and in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Intune. However, I tried to push Company Portal. It has still not show up, showed up, so I hope that's uh, coming a bit later. So while we have a machine in here or machines, we usually want to configure them, not only application, also policies. So in this video, I'm planning to set up a policy for BitLocker, which is disk encryption. It's a full disk encryption from Microsoft, which means that uh, if you lose a laptop or a device with BitLocker on, it's going to be encrypted. That means that, yes, you lost the hardware, but all the files on it, when it's boot up, it's not... Uh, if someone tried to brute force it, they are not going to be able to read it because it's going to be encrypted. So let's start to set up that. And we can set our up on in many places in Intune. Let's just first look on our client. So we see BitLocker is off. We must do it manually, and we definitely don't want to do it manually especially not since we want to manage the recovery key if needed. If we go back in here to set up BitLocker policy, we can do that in a few places, but I prefer Endpoint Security. And there they have the fitting name Disk Encryption. And if we run here, we can click on uh, Create the Policy. Let's do that and select platform. We have Windows 10 and later Mac OS. Mac OS, it will not be BitLocker, it will be FileVault. And currently we don't manage any Mac or Android. That might come later in this area. So let's now focus on Windows. So it shows Windows 10 or later. Profile, it's going to be just one here, BitLocker. So we hit Create. Let's put the name. I'm going to call this one GBN BitLocker Policy and GBN disk and encryption requirement from the business. And we go next. And here we have, uh, I'm gonna minimize four settings to set up. I'm gonna set up them all. I'm gonna be re very relaxed on removal drives. And I'm just gonna do basic settings this is by all means not one fit all, whatever you need, but just to get the disk encrypted. So enable full disk encryption for OS and fixed data drive drives. Yes, very much. Require storage card like a USB uh, uh, that plug. That could be nice. I'm going to leave that for now, not um, require that. Hide prompts about the third party encryption, yes, and then we get some other option here. Allow standard users to enable encryption during autopilot, yes, we definitely want that. Configure client-driven recovery password, yeah, we will do that. We will enable to rotate the key and we will do that for Azure AD join device. Since we set up a new tenant, we will not join to uh, on-prem AD, but if you uh, are in the migration or have a mix of hybrid and Azure, you can choose here. I'm going to choose Azure AD joint device only since that's only what I got. So those were the base settings. That goes pretty quick. These two are a bit longer, more settings. Fixed drives if we configure and we will do that. So uh, recovery, uh, yes please. Recovery creation, no we block that. We're just going to have it uh, in Azure AD. Configure BitLocker recovery package, password and key. That's fine. Require device to back up recovery information to Azure AD. Very important. Yes, we want that. Uh, recovery password creation. We can uh, allow that. Hide recovery options during BitLocker setup. Yes, we want it silent. Enable BitLocker after recovery information store. Unsure what that is. Uh, save to active, we say yes to that. We can say yes to block that one also. We could block write access to fix the drives that is not protected. I think yes there is a pretty good option, but I'm gonna not configure that for now. And here, configure encryption methods. We have four different. And 256 is more secure than 128, so it should be a one-brainer to always select that but it also take more resources. So I'm actually gonna go with the 128 bit, but for security, you should probably choose uh, 256. So we have done that part. Now BitLocker OS drive settings, which 
looks a bit like uh, fixed drive so we configure this one startup authentication required yes so when the machine start up it needs to authenticate to uh, decrypt uh, the disk so it can read the uh, windows and everything and i'm gonna go with require tpm which shouldn't be an issue because windows 11 require that anyway and i'm gonna block all the others and I mean, again, for higher security, it would be good to uh, enter pin code at each startup, but that annoys users. And also, if you restart a machine remotely, it will be stuck and a physical person will have to be there and put in the pin code. So uh, good for security, but TPM is totally fine. That unlock the drive automatically, unless you have changed uh, too much hardware or tried to brute force, then it will uh, lock itself and require a recovery key. Uh, disable BitLocker on device where TPM is, yes, there is no idea. If they don't have BitLocker uh, TPM, it will not work anyway. Uh, enable a pre-boot uh, pre recovery, I will not configure that. System drive recovery, sure. Recovery, same here, uh, will block that. Password and key, yes, send it to Azure AED. Uh, recovery password creation that we can allow, hide during um, BitLocker setup, the same here, we send to the store, we block, same as before, and we put the same encryption. Now we are soon finished, I know a lot of settings and I went through them very quickly. Um, here we have removal drive settings, I'm going to configure it with actually without configure it because you get an error here at create if you leave it not configured. Uh, so I'm just going to set that to IS, but I'm not going to block or any force or anything. And I think this is a great feature, so it could very well put yes here. But I just want the BitLocker on the, my machines. I'm not using scope tag. Assignments, I would say this is a good thing to have for all devices. Security is important. If they're for some strange reason, you don't need it, you can exclude and have that. By default, all should have it. We go next. We review. For some reason, uh, this is, doesn't look so user-friendly. Uh, I'll create this and see if we go edit. I think it should look more user-friendly. So now this one is created. Uh, if I go properties here, yes, here it looks more user-friendly. I can see our settings, what we had. And we can, of course, change them. And we can uh, could have multiple BitLocker. And I see I misspelled disk encryption here. Uh, pretty uh, save that okay so we have our BitLocker policy I had to set up a secondary machine my first one had problem but that's the good part with autopilot it takes no time to set up a machine so I have this machine here and it actually got our company portal installed if we go settings and we go account, we go access work or school, that's what I thought it was, uh, accounts, oh, there it is, and we go info. We now see we have a BitLocker policy have applied and we also have the company portal installed. If we go to our uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center console, we can look uh, success here two succeeded but it should be the same one yes it's this new machine so it got it for system and user so it's applied however i don't doubt that uh, uh, bitlocker is enabled so it got the policy but it's still off so it's probably going to take some time you can also run this command here, manage pd uh, date status, and we can see that it's decrypted. We want it encrypted. Uh, I'm going to restart this machine and see if that helps to kick this off. So it took a long time, but now finally this machine I've got uh, BitLocker policy applied. We can see that uh, here. That we got the policy bit locker that we had before but actually it took some time before it um, actually executed so here we have bit locker is on we could also look by running um, 
not clear host, manage BDI status, and we see that it's fully encrypted, and the encryption method is the one we specified in our policy. If we look in Event Viewer, we can see here it started BitLocker Drive encryption is using a software-based uh, encryption to protect C$. And from there, it have a protector, it give a GUID, and it was backed successfully to Azure AD, so we should be able to see the key. And still the TPM, perfect. And what else? A bit the same. BitLocker, here it says it started the encryption using our algorithm that we specified. And I think that's it. So if so the machine is now encrypted with BitLocker. If we need a key, we can do that in multiple places, but we can go if we go to the machine itself. We have the recovery keys here. So if needed, here is the recovery key. So that is how we enable disk encryption with the Intune, totally silent for the user, good for security. Thank you very much for following this video.